Hey everybody, welcome to the next map that I'm going to play, which is Eddie's Tina Valley. Tina's Valley. Um, this is a map that supports a whole lot of modes. One capture flag, two capture flag, hero assault, classic conquest. As you can see by the the map, looks quite impressive with a lot of buildings or at least obstacles in the way. First impression that I get is kind of like the like Swiss feeling, Northern Europe, that sort of stuff. Maybe even North Northern America. So you could always already see that there were some flying vehicles. Not too many though. Which means that it is mostly used as support for ground vehicles. Because think about it, if you only have one or two flying vehicles at, e at each side, that means that it won't do anything good for, you know, reinforcements counter. Won't do you any good. So it's basically to... We can actually get a better look from on the level from up here. Let's see. It looks very, very impressive. So Eddie did a good job. A lot bigger than I first thought. And like I said, I'm impressed with all the obstacles. And he did a well... He, he mixed uh, different architects from different places very well. Like, I recognize some stuff from, for example, Naboo or Yavin, but... He mixes it up so well that it has its own distinct feeling. Like this one is from Yavin, but oh. Uh, also, what I think is fun, but that is well. Well, I guess it's also kind of. Hey, what the hell? Why is there a? What the hell? Are you serious? Hey, wh where are you guys coming from? What the fuck? Is it that the map looks kind of like a um, a linear path that we take? See, we begin at uh, point zero and we go south towards point five, and then we just push on to one, then four, which we already own, and then oh, hey. oh, sexiness. This is a map that I can already very recommend. I'm, I'm very impressed by how it looks. And this is also, like I said, I'm most impressed by his use of a um, mixture of, of, of object uh, objects. I don't know if there's some new stuff. There's definitely some stuff that I don't recognize, but you know, I don't play every map in the vanilla one. So it could be that there are some items from maps that I don't play a lot, so I don't recognize them. Hero units, as you can see, will have an incredible importance role here. Way more important than the flying vehicles. But I guess a good strategy that you can use is if you have a enemy defending a command post, you know, use, as you can see there, use it to bombard the place before the infantry goes in. I don't know how many air vehicles each side has. Wow, I got owned. Well, like I said, it's a very cool map. Very, very well made. Ooh. Yeah. Die, shit. I like indeed that they only give you, to me, what seems like one vehicle for some points, which means that some uh, points are way more strategic than others. Like, now I have this tank, which is obviously not from my faction. But it could mean that if you're the droids, 
you want to put extra effort in keeping or conquering the command post that gives you this tank, which is something very well thought of. Now we have pushed them, and now this is where it's going to get fun. No. No, no, no. Yeah, you better be scared. This is where we conquer them. There's just the, the the attention to detail is is great in this map. It's really really well done. It almost has a distinctive battlefield feeling. There are some battlefield maps, and especially in Battlefield 2, that are very similar to this. I think size is perfect. There might be some areas, um, the outer parts, that might not have a lot of action going on, but I guess that is more... Like in Battlefield, that's the place where the vehicles will spawn the air vehicles, which you can use to quickly get in there. You will mostly be spawning at the command posts that are more near the action. Another command post for the Republic. They're losing reinforcements. Keep it up. We are winning this greatly, though. Look at this, this is just, just so, so well done. The Republic is in control of a command post. Enemy reinforcements are decreasing. I still haven't figured out how many flying vehicles we have. One or two. Oh, hey. What up, bitch? And we'll win this. Like I said, this is a very, very fun map. There's a lot of variety in terms of how the map looks, and it just looks gorgeous. This is one of those maps that is done so well, though I have to indeed admit that it's done with the props already available. But that it feels new and not homemade or amateurish, if you want to call it like that. Ooh, and you can actually even cross the lake here. That's kind of cool. But you can actually also... Oh, no, wait. You'll die. Carry the force with you. Always. It's probably haven't won yet. Oh, but well, that's because they captured that... Oh, what? And that should be it, I think. <laughs> now there's one more. Oh, yep, we have a problem. Okay. How are we going to do that? Well, that works, I guess, too. Alright, guys, like I said, really, really nice map. Strategic as hell. Nice combination with also air vehicle in it, or air combat in it. And download link will as always be in the description, and I will see you guys next time.